As you guys can see, I have just about completely ran out of my DEF. So we are headed to AutoZone right now, this very minute, to grab some DEF. Then I'm also gonna go and get a diesel-powered heater for our shop because it's getting freaking cold. It's 20 degrees out right now, and that's not fun. And then we're also going to be going out to run a couple errands and then come back and hopefully, hopefully, get a few things done on the first gen. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be able to do, um, but I definitely wanna try to get something else done. We got some dynamite diesel. I believe they're stage three injectors right here. Look at this. Oh no, dang it, it just went away, but it just said, it just said your speed is, is going to be limited to five miles per hour within the next 200 miles. That's pretty crazy. So, at least they give you a 200 mile warning. That's 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 fun. So, um, anyway, so we're gonna go get this done. And let me let me just say this really quick on um, the topic of this truck. Which, by the way, you can win this truck or my 1991 five speed first gen fully intercooled four wheel drive. All that stuff. Both these trucks are in amazing condition. I mean, this one's is a brand new truck. This is a 2018 um, Laramie Longhorn 3500. All that fancy stuff. But if you go to this website here, this giveaway is ending in just. Maybe six days by the time you see this video. Six or seven days by the time you see this video. Um, every $15 you spend at team-lnp.myshopify.com on hats and hoodies and t-shirts and decals, keychains, all that stuff, every $15 gets you another entry to win this truck next week. I mean, yeah, this is the craziest giveaway we've done yet. We do not have like insane numbers of people that enter these things. Like I think some people think we have like all my subscribers and all my Instagram followers, like everybody enters these things. That's not even close to the actual, the actual number is very, 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 it's less than, literally it's probably less than 25% of the views I get on my average video. We have officially put more DEF, DEF, whatever you want to call it, in the truck and uh, it is thanking me currently. It's not sending me a bunch of signals saying, uh, uh, hey, top me off, you know what I mean? So, uh, not really the, the, the funnest thing having to go and buy that stuff um, before you run out. It's kind, of, it's kind of annoying, but look at the bright side, you know? There's, there's stuff for you to do if you win this truck and uh, you, want, you want to do some stuff to it yourself. It definitely pays for itself to have it deleted. The only reason I haven't deleted this truck is just in case, you know, the person that wins this, let's say, they, you know, like having the security of knowing that it has the warranty left on it still, at least for, you know, several thousand more miles. Um, that's the only reason why I haven't deleted the thing. I am off-roading right now, I'm taking it really slow, but yeah, it does, the four-wheel drive does work, by the way. I use it on and off when I go through, uh, just off onto our property back here. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, I mean that's the only reason why I left the warranty. Otherwise, I wouldn't have wouldn't have thought about leaving it at all. But you know, once we find out which truck gets picked after this giveaway is over, um, if I end up getting to keep this truck, which is you know assuming somebody picks the red first gen, which believe it or not is it's a 50/50 shot. You know, a lot of people like that red first gen because um, you can't. It's hard to find a truck like that. You can't find those as much as you can find a brand new one. You can these are every single corner you look. On a river right here. I can get some video out here. Probably doesn't do any justice. You're gonna get that window up because it is freezing cold, so. But anyways, what I was saying is, if I end up getting to keep the truck and somebody picks the red truck, which, like I said, it's 50-50, it just depends on who wins, you know, because some people might like the old classic first gen, which isn't gonna depreciate, you know, it's not the fancy thing, but um, it's super, super cool and just classy. It's an old classic truck that if you hold on to, it's gonna be worth some, it's gonna be worth more than this truck in a handful of years. Um, you know what I mean? It's just one of those types of deals versus this truck. It's awesome, it's gonna last you a freaking long time, you know what I mean? Um, it's gonna be more comfortable, more daily friendly, that type of a deal, but I mean, in the same sense, it's it's a depreciation machine, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just how they are. It, but it's a nice truck, it's a super nice truck, so it's just a matter of preference what you wanna do with it. You want something you're gonna work out of every day or something you're gonna you know, keep around the 
farm because eventually it's going to be just worth a ton of money if you just maintain it and keep it really clean and rust free like that first gen. But you know, it's just, just it's all preference. But we're going to get, um, I did buy a diesel powered generator. It actually runs off of kerosene, diesel, jet fuel, all kinds of crazy stuff. But we're, we are going to just use diesel. I bought a five gallon can of diesel and it's bigger than the heater that my dad bought. He told me which one he would get and I got the bigger one because I'm like, it's freaking cold out here. And um, even if I get to use it only for a week, it's worth being able to be able to feel your hands out there when you're grabbing frozen metal wrenches and stuff, you know what I mean? Because that shop's not heated or insulated at all. I mean, it is just, it's cold. So we're gonna get back there, show you this diesel power generator that I bought. Okay, so we've got the injectors here and these injectors are actually purchased through Dynamite Diesel. Okay, now Dynamite Diesel is not sponsoring. There's absolutely nobody sponsoring this build other than the partial sponsorship from Anthem on the wheels from a company that I so dearly really appreciate. But all these parts are really just parts that I found based on recommendations that I saw through other forums and stuff like that all through from a bunch of other guys that built trucks with a similar horsepower goal and a similar um, build in general. And there they are. We should, we should work. They're all covered up, of course, right now for protection purposes for the um, tips of the injectors, the nozzles. But these are the injectors we're going to be running. I can't remember what size these were. So they're stage three injectors. Whatever that means in terms of injector size that these would be, they're good for approximately 400 horsepower with the proper mod supporting. We've got these valve covers all painted up. I just actually coated them again. They were all nice and dry. I just took a micro microfiber towel, dusted them off, made sure that they were good for another coat, and then I put that other coat on. So let's get to opening up this heater and see just how good this thing works. So I just got this thing all assembled, but basically with this stupid thing, you can uh, put it on whatever temperature you want, and basically it'll kick on and off um, according to what you have it set at. So let's just say, let's just let's just say we want to set it at 80. That's also going to determine how much fuel you're going to burn. This thing holds 10 gallons of diesel or 10 gallons of whatever you want to throw in it. But let's just say we want to set it on 70. This will actually tell you the room temperature right here. Um, and then it's supposed to kick on and off once it gets to, you know, the set temperature in the general area that this thing's sitting in. So you should just flip the switch on once it's plugged in and it'll just light itself up. Oh, that's nice. Now the whole goal with this heater is to be able to keep this engine bay warmer so that when I'm setting my wrenches around and working on it, I've just got a constant 80 degrees blowing at me. So that should help out a lot with being able to actually stay out in the shop a little bit longer, especially now that it is getting cold and it is snowing a lot. A lot nicer to actually have some heat in this barn. Today I ended up just doing a lot of errands, running a lot of errands, and that's kind of what I was doing all afternoon. So that is going to put a wrap on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while where I basically just run around and then I just kind of fill you in on a little bits and pieces of what I did throughout the day and stuff that I got done. Um, but that's kind of just the way the video played out, and hopefully tomorrow though we can get right back into getting some stuff done on this truck. We do have the machine rocker pedestals, we have the injectors, we have the head studs, we have the valve springs, a lot of stuff that is ready to get installed on this truck. And now it's just a matter of getting out here and starting to piece it back together. And then of course, we need to also get this whole compound turbo kit mounted up together. We've just got to piece some of that other stuff together um, to get that moving along there. Other than that, we are looking in pretty good shape. Don't forget to enter the LMP Longhorn slash first gen giveaway. That giveaway ends very, very soon. Every $15 you spend on the website is another entry to win. Information down in the description below. Don't forget to go enter. Leave your likes on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.